So the U.S. just set a new record. Unfortunately, it's a war record. So um, it's not a positive thing. Common Dreams says the following. Air Force jets dropped 7,423 bombs on Afghanistan in 2019. The highest number since records began in 2006, beating out 2018. Stars and Stripes explained how the bombing affects the Afghan people. The AFCENT figures include bomb and missile strikes, 105 millimeter shells fi fired by AC-130 gunships and strafing fire from 20 uh, millimeter cannons. Airstrikes predominantly conducted by U.S. forces caused 579 out of the 1,149 civilian war fatalities attributed to pro-government forces in Afghanistan during the nine months of 2019, according to the most recent United Nations data. Um, now, I do have to say, as a general rule, whatever numbers they're giving you, it's higher. So 579 of the civilian casualties were from the U.S. And again, I think that's a lowball number, but that's their official number. 579 civilian casualties from the U.S. 1,149 civilian casualties from the U.S. allies. So the pro-government Afghan forces. So those numbers, even though I think they're lowballing, are high. That's a lot of civilian death, man. That's a lot of civilian death. Also, 7,423 bombs? We dropped on Afghanistan. We've been there since 2001. We're talking about in 2019 we had these numbers. What are we accomplishing as a result of this? What's being fixed? What's the end goal? What's the definition of victory? What do you think we could have bought here at home? for the cost of those 7,423 bombs. There's been an increase in Al-Qaeda members and ISIS members, and it's had the exact opposite of the intended effect. If the whole idea of the war on terror was, hey, let's defeat terrorism, well, you've increased the number of terrorists. So I, at this point, nobody even bothers to explain why we're there, what we're doing, what victory is. Two presidents now have run on getting out of wars, and they've both kept us in them. Trump used to say all the time to get out of Iraq and Afghanistan. Now he's escalating in Iraq and Afghanistan. So this fact is devastating. This fact is something you're not going to see anybody talk about in mainstream media. And it shows how broken the system is. It shows how nobody cares in polite society and elite society about the stuff that they should care about, and they don't talk about the stuff that they should talk about. 7,423 bombs for nothing. Over 1,000 civilian deaths for nothing. If there was ever a time to get in the street, it's now. If there was ever a time to elect an anti-war president, it's now. Because apart from this being immoral and unethical and wrong at every level, something we shouldn't be doing, it is also a colossal waste of resources. Resources that could go here where we desperately need them. Clean water in Flint, Michigan... Upgrading our infrastructure, which gets a grade of D plus, a jobs program. All that stuff is absolutely necessary. And we're not doing it. We're blowing things up and making things worse overseas.